What's up y'all? My name is Barbara Atwe. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, this is another installment of my bedroom transformation, you know? So today I will be showing y'all how I made my five foot giant Sherpa beanbag chair. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's begin. All right, so I got an email from fabric land because i'm a uh, like a store club member or something like that um and they announced that they were having a buy one get two free meter sale so i was like oh it's time for my time it's my time to shine so i hauled my ass over to, <laughs> to fabric land and i made sure that i got um i got six meters of regular sherpa and six meters of um just at the cheapest fabric that i could find with the same width and i wanted to make sure that the width was at least 60 uh inches so i was able to get um how many did i pay for i don't even know how to explain it okay so if i got six meters right and it was a buy one get two free sale plus 50 percent off because i'm a store member bitch i saved bank all right so um i got you have to make so these are things you need i have them listed on the screen and down below in the description box so y'all know because i'm going to be talking throughout this entire video so my, i might not be paying attention you know what i mean so we are cutting out the circle for um the top and bottom of the bean bag we're going to do it for both the inner lining and the outer lining so you can do it with any fabric that you want um i decided to choose Sher sherpa because one I need to go with the cozy fresh vibes that I'm going for in my bedroom right and then also Sherpa's in you know you know and it's cute and it's comfortable so I was like you know what let me go get it because I know that the um original price at in store was like $24 per meter so if, okay I still can't calculate it but I got it for half off right because I'm a store member and then you get it was the buy one get two free so y'all do the math i can't do the math right now my brain isn't on right now i don't know but we are cutting everything out making sure that we are zooming through um and then we are also going to cut out um our rectangles so that um how do i explain it it's a 190 inch length and 30 inch wide rectangle why because circumference we have to map make sure that the rectangle matches the the length of the rectangle matches the circumference of the circle so the circumference of the circle is about like 188 so you want to make sure that you have like and you want seam allowance as well so you want to make sure that everything matches all right so here i am folding the rectangle in half so that it's easier to cut um i decided to just do one long rectangle but you can also cut it in half if you don't have like how do i explain it like if the width of your fabric is longer than the length there we go you can fold it in half and then uh cut your desired length uh height of your bean bag to whatever you want you don't have to have it uh be like a 30 inch wide rectangle it could be any width that you want you just want to make sure that you like since mine is like a giant one, I want to be able to like sink into it, you know? The reason why I decided to go with a giant beanbag chair is because, you know, sometimes you want to be in your room, but you don't want to be in your bed, okay? So <laughs> I wanted something where I could just chill out, not have to go on my bed. And then if I want to take a nap, I could take a nap in the beanbag chair, you know what I mean? So yeah, and I made sure that the TV mount that I got in my room, it can rotate so like I could watch TV from my beanbag chair, you know, logistics. All right, so now we are moving on to sewing everything together. So this is how you are going to sew the order in which you're going to sew everything together. You're going to start with the bottom circle and then you are going to sew the bottom circle to the zipper. Then you are going to sew the zipper to the rectangle and then you're going to sew the top circle to the rectangle. And then you close the seam of the rectangle after you sew your top circle, okay? So I have it on the screen here for like 15 seconds so y'all can see what I'm trying to do. Um, and yeah, so I think I use like a zigzag stitch I use a zigzag stitch to sew the fabric to the zipper and then I use a straight stitch for sewing just the regular fabric together. Did I say that properly? Zigzag stitch to the for the fabric to the zipper 
and then regular stitch to the when the two fabrics need to be joined together you know what i mean and i will have all of the information regarding my sewing machine and needles down below in the description box do not use a regular so the do not use the needle that comes with the sewing machine to sew your bean bag unless you're using thin thin fabric if you are using like a heavyweight fabric like sherpa you are going to need the 110 by over 18 needle i think it's called i will have everything linked down below in the description box just to make sure that you guys are all in good hands you know what i mean because listen nothing irritates me more because i make wigs okay so you need a heavy duty needle nothing irritates me more than when i am zooming through making a wig or sewing a sewing project and the needle breaks on me i lose my mind okay so we're just going to be sewing everything together making sure that um we're reverse stitching as we go because we do not want the bean filler to explode nobody has time for that because listen trying to fill that thing in trying to fill the trying to put the filler in the lining peak annoyance also it's staticky <laughs> it's very staticky so it gets everywhere so you have to be very careful All right, so now I am sewing the other side of the zipper to the circle, you know what I mean? So um, this was very confusing for me because I don't know how my brain works, but I, I was struggling because I was trying to, cause you know how you put like the thinner side of the fabric under the hook of the sewing machine so that you like have space to like glide stuff through. But since I had two big pieces of fabric, it was getting on my nerves and it was getting caught and stuff you know what i mean so yeah y'all are just gonna see me zoom through this we are just sewing everything together again we want to do the bottom circle attach that to the zipper then we're going to attach the zipper to the rectangle then we are going to attach the other side of the rectangle to the top circle and then you will sew the seams of the rectangle together okay All right, so now we have the lining done. It is time to fill her up, okay? So I got, I feel like the most expensive part of this um, beanbag chair is the um, filler. 
but the filler is not expensive you know what i mean you just need a lot of it so i originally got um this big 190 liter bag from wayfair and i i had a gift card because my dad gave me a wayfair gift card when we first moved into the house just so i can like furnish my bedroom or whatever and this was 66.99 for no yeah 66.99 for a two uh like a 200 liter bag so i'll have that link down below in the description box but i decided and then I, I mean i also realized sorry that 200 liters is not enough for no five foot uh sherpa beanbag chair anybody got time for that so i had to realize you know what i mean so we went to walmart and because i didn't have time to be waiting for sh shipping i want to finish my bedroom i want to get it over with so um <laughs> i went to walmart and then i saw that they had beanbag filler for 19.99 each for um 100 liters so i got four bags so in total we have 600 liters of beanbag filler you can go with shredded foam but sh for some reason shredded foam is very expensive out here i don't understand it it's very expensive so i was like uh -uh, nope absolutely not we're gonna go with beanbag filler and to be honest with you it doesn't really matter i mean like sherpa is already soft as it is so you don't really have to worry about it being uncomfortable and the beanbag filler isn't even hard it's like mini foam it's like packed foam like itty bitty spheres you know what i mean so yeah we just stuffed it all in there making sure that we are getting it in and then also that shit gets everywhere so make sure that you vacuum afterwards okay because ain't nobody got time and make sure that you shake it off your body afterwards too because that it it's very annoying Okay, so it's the next day. We are going to cut out our Sherpa fabric now, okay? We are folding it in half, okay? Because we, again, we are doing a 30 inch diam, no, radius, yes. Math, radius <laughs> um, circle. Um, and then we are going to fold the fabric in half so that I can cut two of them at the same time because I learned my lesson with the first time. It was too much work, so. Um, oh, another tip, if you want to create the perfect circle, I think y'all saw it in the beginning or maybe in this clip too, I'm not sure, but I took a nail and I hammered it into the carpet. Thank God we got carpet because listen, if we had hardwood, I don't even know what to do, but um, <laughs> I hammered a nail into the middle of the fabric and then I uh, had a string um, attached to a permanent marker and then I just went all the way around. And I pulled the string taut so that it would give me the perfect circle because we're going, we're going around, you know what I mean? Math, it's really, it really helps, you know? It's a great tip. Oops, see, there we go. We got me uh, tying the string onto the permanent marker. And I want, I made sure that I did the, um, the outline of the circle on the inner side of the fabric so that it wouldn't show up on the outer like where the actual sherpa is you know what i mean because listen i don't want no marks on this and i love it because it's removable you know since we have the inner lining and the outer fabric i could take off the outer fabric when it gets like a little bit dingy and then throw it in the wash very simple very cash
Okay, so I didn't include the footage of me sewing the Sherpa fabric together simply because we are doing the exact same thing that we do with the lining. So you're going to sew the bottom circle, okay? You're going to sew the bottom circle to the zipper, the zipper to the rectangle, the rectangle to the top circle, and then you are going to close the um, seam of the rectangle after you sew the rectangle to the top circle, okay? Capiche? Good. All right, and then after you, you're you done fit, um, sewing your outer fabric together, we are going to stuff the inner lining into the outer fabric. This was a workout. <laughs> this was so much work. I, I think I underestimated how big it would be, but look how massive she is. And that's just with the outer lining. I mean, the inner lining by itself, you know what I mean? So she fits perfectly in my cozy corner. You know, we got the little window above and stuff. I'm not done furnishing it, furnishing it yet. I don't know if I want like a little cubby or like a floating shelf. I don't know, but I don't want my room to look a little, uh, too busy. So y'all let me know down in the description box what I should do in my cozy corner. I still got my plant babies that I got to put up in there. Y'all see a little sneak peek of um, uh, Jacques Mousse and... Um, <laughs> Julius my two plant babies but yeah um, let me know down in the description box what I should do All right, and then when you are finally done stuffing the inner lining into the outer fabric, you know, this is how she looks. We're gonna zip her all up, making sure that she's secure and nothing gets in. Position her in the corner however you want to. And look at how big she is. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love, okay? So for reference, I am five foot seven, okay? And this is a five foot bean bag chair. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is so comfortable. Look at me laid out. <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please just like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye. Bye.